It's on. I think. It's on. Wait, 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 wait. That pressure, Zen. Yeah, that that pressure. pressure. It feels so weird. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'm going to be trying out these baby hair tattoos. These tattoos are meant to give you instant baby hairs to help frame your face. They're meant to be applied around your hairline to give you that laid out baby hair look. Now I actually found these on AliExpress, but you can also find them on Wish. And there's lots of different styles available. I got this one and there's actually 10 of them in the set. These were about seven or eight dollars, so not very expensive. But do they work? Will they look natural? That is the question. Now, before I try out the product, I want to let you guys know that I have a holiday bundle out with Pixie Beauty. This is my All About The Eyes bundle and I'm wearing all the products today so you guys can see what it looks like. In the holiday bundle, you get my Tones and Textures palette that includes 25 beautiful eyeshadow shades. There's the Lash Booster Mascara in Blackest Black, the Eye Bright Liner in Nude, the Lash Line Ink in Velvet Coco. So this bundle is available online now and for all this it costs $52 which is actually a 20% savings. Pixie usually doesn't go on sales so guys if you've been eyeing my palette for a while and you want some extra goodies I'll leave the link for you guys below. Okay so back to the tattoo. I think I want to like cut it in half first. This feels literally like the temporary tattoos. You know it's got like a layer that you peel off and then you would wet the back of it so it transfers onto your skin. The only thing is I, I do have some baby hairs here so I don't want to like rip them out because baby hairs make you look more youthful and I like my baby hairs. I'm going to be careful. I need to cut it more but I'm just cutting around the outline. I don't know who came up with this but I mean maybe it's a good idea because not everyone has this much baby hairs. Okay so that's what it's looking like right now. So that is supposed to be flipped around and framed like that. Zen's gonna give me a hand. I think to make it look natural you want it pretty close to your actual hairline. The closer it is I think the more natural it will look and obviously it would look natural if you had dark black hair. You can obviously do this to yourself too but I just want a person to blame if it doesn't go well. <laughs> Wet my baby hairs back to protect them a little bit. I mean you could really gel it back but I'm just gonna wet them. This will make my forehead a little bit smaller because look at it it's it's quite receding. I'll hold this, I'll hold this for you so you keep working it. But it goes on your hair, like here. That's right. Maybe just stick it on. Just go for it. Oh my gosh. This is what friends are for. Experimenting with baby hair tattoos. I'm gonna wet your whole face. <laughs> I mean it's a painless tattoo so I can't complain. And it's temporary. It's on. I think. It's on? Wait, 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 wait. Where's wait, the mirror? Wait, 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 wait. Where's the mirror? I want to peel it off. <laughs> just like dabbing my head. I'm like, you right know now. those artists that sweat just on stage? I'm like dabbing it dry. I'm just double checking Zen's work and it looks pretty good. Like it looks pretty damn. Oh, I can I can see it a little bit already. Okay. This could like look actually good or just be horrible. I'm going to peel it slowly in case any of it isn't stuck down. <gasps> Wait, this part's not stuck down. Oh, you positioned it so well, it's my sideburns. Wow. It actually looks like legit. It's just very shiny. It's just a very shiny forehead. It's like the gel hasn't dried. It's just got like the glistening in the moonlight effect. Obviously like this part isn't, it's a little bit flaky if you look really close because you can see the clear part of the tattoo. That's just because I have hair there and it can't really stick down. So if you're going to use this, you need to like gel back every piece of baby hair you have so then it can adhere a little bit better. But in terms of like the strands itself, okay ignore my shininess, it actually looks pretty real. I'm trying to get an angle where it it's not super shiny. Here, 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 here. Can you guys see that? It's like, you can see these strokes. It's very thin, it's very hair-like. And then even just how it kind of sort of gathers and the, the, the design and stuff. I've got a little woo, swirl there. And here's that flaky bit I was saying. My real sideburns are cramping up my tattoo sideburns. I think you did a good job, Zen. Yeah, it could be a little bit closer, but because I have some baby hairs, maybe I could just kind of like, 
blend that in. We're gonna do the other side, okay. Let me cut the other side. I can see this coming in handy. You know, like maybe you're doing like a shoot or something. Oh, nah, but then it's shiny. You just gotta de-shine it. The other side. This time I tried to cut it a little bit closer to like the edge so Zen can see where to paste it. I wonder if Alfred would notice. I reckon if I, s I sent him a photo, he wouldn't be able to tell. I'd just be like, oh wow, you spent so long styling your baby hairs. <laughs> That pressure, Zen, that, that pressure. pressure. I feel like I'm getting told off like by like my mum and she's just like, I'll let you peel this one. I'll let you do the honors. This one's very near your hairline. This one might take off my hairline. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, stick that string back. Why is this one so flaky then? <laughs> it's because it's near, near oh, it's to your no. hairline. I think there's hair caught in it. Yeah, I think there's hair caught in it. But I think the position is good though. Like that looks a lot more natural, right? Up close, this, this side is more flaky because I've got more baby hairs kind of getting in the way. But the position itself, it's ideal because it looks more natural. Whereas this side, you can have a bit of space. If you have baby hair, you can kind of just cover it like what I did. Still looks pretty good though. I have a small forehead now. What do we think guys? Zen says that front on, it looks pretty decent. Like from a distance though, up close, you can definitely tell that I've got fake tattoos along the side of my head. Is this practical? Probably not because I think if I start moving and start like, you know, expressing and just like making facial expressions, I can feel like the tightness around here and I guarantee you it will start lifting and peeling and flaking off. You guys know how temporary tattoos are. They don't last very long that's why they're temporary it feels so weird okay so there you go guys i probably wouldn't wear it out it's just something fun to try on video and in photos you could get away with it though so if you were doing a photo shoot or something and you just wanted to just have some laid out baby hairs to frame your face this could be an option look it's not the worst invention ever okay guys like i'm not completely hating it i just can't go out in public like this because you can tell that's my opinion i will probably rate this maybe out of five i'd give it like a three and a half it's not that bad you know i think if you choose a design that's good enough and then if you had like gelled everything back it would look good for instagram what am i gonna do with the other nine pieces zen do you want some baby hair <laughs> oh god it feels weird like the weirdest sensation freaking press it against your head oh my god <laughs> This is a yakson. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see myself yet. <laughs> it actually looks like Hazen. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. It's this so weird. <laughs> We're going to try something. We're going to powder, powder this. Oh my god. Oh, it's less shiny. Oh my gosh, yes. Translucent powder. Powder those baby hairs. I think this is a hit. This is a hit, especially on Zen. What if you had like your hair back? I look like the bathroom sink. <laughs> Zen is overjoyed with her new baby hair. Are we really sure about that? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this, this suits Zen? Like you could do a cute bun. Ta-da! It actually looks decent on camera. Maybe like the sides look okay, but I feel like front on looks really weird. I don't know, sometimes I like it and sometimes I'm like, yeah, yeah I hate it. Right. I kind of like it on Zen though. I like it on Zen more than I like it on me. Like if you agree. Like, thumbs up. Anyways guys, that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Wish me luck removing this. <laughs>